Hello everyone and welcome to my booktube channel. My name is Sarah and today I'm going to be doing a review on This Is Where It Ends by Marik Nijkamp. I looked up her pronunciation for her first name and so I know I got that but I'm not sure about the last name so I'm really really sorry if I butchered it. This book is told from four different perspectives over the course of a single hour in a small town Alabama high school during a school shooting. I had known about this book for like a year. Whenever I saw the cover, I knew absolutely I had to read it. Unfortunately, that meant a lot of waiting, but it was completely, completely worth it. I gave this book five out of five stars. I got this book from the library, and so at first I just thought that I would read like the first chapter, and then I couldn't put it down. <laughs> I read this book in one day. I couldn't get enough of it. Things started off just a little bit confusing for me because it was jumping from four different perspectives really, really quickly. But once you get the hang of their personalities and once you figure out who everyone is and how they're connected to each other, that really wasn't a problem anymore. I just want to say how much I love the diversity in this book. Not only does this cover a rarely touched upon subject, especially in YA, but the diversity is incredible. Their personalities were so vivid and relatable and Throughout all of it, you really understood each and every one of them. At first, I wasn't really sure how each of their stories would connect, but once you start to see it, the further you get, the more tangled up each of these characters and their storylines become. So this is the part where I'm sort of going to get into a few spoilers, so if you haven't read this book, please go pick it up. It's amazing. I really highly suggest it. Then come back and watch this video because I really want to discuss it with you. Bye, non-spoiler people! Okay, so you've read the book. You get it. You get it on a deeper level, man. God, I couldn't stop thinking about it. Even when it was over, it was just on my mind constantly. And I couldn't stop thinking about the characters and how it was left off and everything that had happened in such a short span of time. As things gradually became more and more intense, the only thing I kept thinking was please do not let Matt die. Like, I would sell my soul if Matt could just please not die. I felt like I was his older sister or his best friend. His pain was palpable. I knew it was coming. I knew it. But it was still heartbreaking. I really got sidelined with the whole Thomas thing. As soon as he left his twin sister behind on that roof, I, I knew what he was planning and I didn't like it and I just wanted him to stop. I did really feel for Tyler. You could see, you know, the procession of the things that had brought him to do the things that he was doing, and yet it wasn't justified. But in his mind it was justified. And I always think it's interesting when the villain isn't so villainous, because you get to see from Claire's perspective, you know, the kind things that he did, and, you know, the good parts of him, and then you get to see him in this darker place. And it's such a terrible contrast. You see the people that start off together and maybe they're in a fight or maybe they're not on speaking terms but they're still best friends or they're still siblings and they're still in this world together and then slowly you get to see them all ripped apart. This is such a powerful and important story, especially with everything that is happening in America today. The last 50 pages or so had me physically shaking. I didn't want to know how it was going to end and yet I had to know. You know, it's one thing if a big bad monster in a fantasy book is going after the character that you love the most, but it's an entirely different thing when this is such realistic fiction. That epilogue was amazing. I think it was just exactly what the story needed. That's why the seniors sent lanterns up to the sky, to make sure the darkness is never absolute. This is such a powerful and important story, and I'm just really, really grateful to have read it and grateful to this author for bringing this amount of diversity and this dark topic to light, especially in YA. This is kind of random, but I really liked the um, screenshots of the tweets scattered out through the book because it sort of reminds you what a huge scale an event like this is on how many people it affects, even if it's not the four main characters that we follow in this story, it expands even beyond them. Overall, I just really loved the story and it's the kind of book that makes you think. 
and those are some of the most important and the ones that will stay with you the longest. So that is it today for my review of This Is Where It Ends. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye!